I spoke to a couple of people in the property industry who, who manage very large rent rolls. They've already had owners say, sell it. Now, if what you're predicting happens as well, that rents are capped, even if you want to hang on to it, you've got this extra tax to pay. Uh, you can't keep the rent coming into the home, uh, your own home, uh, to keep abreast of your own mortgage and your investment property. You're likely to sell and that'll put more pressure on renters, not less pressure. Peter, there's active discouragements to invest at the moment, whether it be in big business, looking at what the payroll tax is now and what it's going to be for the next 10 years, whether it, or whether it's just mum and dads who are deciding whether they want to be um, investing in a new apartment, whether they want to be investing in new property. More often than not, those properties are going for rent um, and people actually want to, want to get themselves a little bit of a foothold. But if they're being discouraged from doing that, that will have reverberations across the board. Um, and we're not going to be able to stop these rents from increasing. They will increase because it just stands to reason that if you've been had a new tax imposed mm. on you, if you've got a new situation that you haven't had before, you're going to pass it on. And I can't see how the government thinks otherwise. Just quickly, 200 billion odd on this suburban rail. A lot of people in the infrastructure say the government should have bit bullet and, and scrapped this project particularly when something that's been, you know, talked about for three decades plus, a rail line from the airport, is in doubt? Well, I, th I think there are a number of infrastructure projects that are in doubt at the moment, whether it's the, the suburban rail loop, which is, you know, anything from 35 to $200 billion, take your, take your pick as to what that might be, the, the airport rail that is significant, and that's been pulled at the moment, despite the fact that there's already been some work being done on it, the Geelong, the Geelong Rail that has been spoken about for quite some time, or indeed, indeed one that's coming up in the next couple of years, the Commonwealth Games. Um, all of these will need significant infrastructure funding. Um, we don't know where that funding's coming from, and it's going to cost the Victorian taxpayer considerably. We need to make sure that our debt um, doesn't go to an extreme e even further than it's gone at the moment. That's the real concern that we have. Mm. So these infrastructure developments really have to be questioned.